Good morning, everyone. In this lesson, I'm going to show you and give you understanding of the powerful key you now hold in your hands as you have worked through forgiveness. I want to tell you something. Let's, let's, let's kind of bring it to modern day. Think about it. Now, the key to your car doesn't look this way, but you know what? You've got to use a key of some type, and you've got to put it in that ignition, and you have to turn it to get things moving, to get you going somewhere. I want you to listen to me. Forgiveness is your key. If you want to go anywhere in life, you've got to use this key. You've got to get to use the key. And we have imparted to you this key. But today, I'm going to show you the benefit that comes through obedience to God. He didn't give you the key to just lay it on the table and forget about it. He didn't give you that key to just... Um, get lost in your pocketbook, or to get lost in the shuffle of life. No, he gave you this key to use. And when you use the key out of obedience to God, not out of what you can gain, but out of obedience, if you do it out of obedience, what's going to happen is recompense. Recompense. You know, that's a word that we may have heard from time to time, I know I just heard it, and I'm like, oh, recompense, another one of those big, long words. I wasn't really interested when I heard it maybe 20 years ago. I, I, didn't, I didn't press into it. But then the Lord pressed me to press into it. Okay? He, he pressed me to search it out and gain wisdom. In all, you're, in all you're getting, get understanding so you can have wisdom to rightly apply the truths of God. So I gained understanding of recompense. And recompense means that once you have forgiven someone and you've released it to God and you don't hold the offense any longer. You don't hold that person to pay you what you think they owe you. You've released all that to God. It's not in your court anymore. It's in the courts of God. It's in His courts. And I want to tell you what happens with recompense. Once it's in God's court, then recompense will be the river of God's blessing that begins to pour on you. And this is what I love about it. It doesn't mean you're going to get it in the sweet by and by when you get to heaven. Recompense is the blessings of God on earth. It's on earth while you're here. In Proverbs it says this. It says, Behold, the righteous, okay, the righteous, who are the righteous? Those that have their heart right before God. You can't get your heart right until you get your heart right this way. You, you, you know, to get your heart right with God, you got to get your heart right with the one on the right and the left that has hurt you, abused you, forsaken you, abandoned you, mis misused you. I mean, all those things. Get your heart right one, one at a time. You can't say, I forgive everybody for everything they've done. No, we're not talking about that. We're talking about grieve the loss that you incur from every person's sin against you, even the things they did unknowingly that hurt you. Okay, you've got to work through the process of forgiving, grieving the loss, so you can release it. So then you become the righteous. Okay, look, look here. Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth. While they're in the earth, while you're in the earth, the goodness of the Lord will be seen in the land of the living while you're on earth. Now, I'm going to give you two examples. If, if you're really a good studier, I would encourage you to go in and really study out recompense. I'm going to give you two examples that are absolutely profound, okay? I'm going to start with Job. Yeah, we, we know about Job. But listen to this. It says this, <clears throat> and this is in Job. It's the last chapter there, verse 42. Now look here. In the King James, it says... Um, this is what Job said. 
I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now my eyes see. Job, 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 Job was finally seeing the fullness of God's redemption for him. We know the story. Job had lost everything. But listen to this. Now I'm going to go over to the Amplified. Listen. The Lord turned the captivity of Job and restored his fortunes when he prayed for his friends. Also, if that wasn't good enough, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. So let's think a minute. You can't pray for a friend if you have unforgiveness in your heart. You've got you've to forgive them to be able to pray for them and bless them and for that to be honored by the Lord. And it can't be just a quickie prayer for a friend that's going to return everything and double like Job. He went through suffering, yes. He went through loss and he had to grieve his loss for his heart to be able to come to a point that those that mocked him, his friends that mocked him, that he could bless them by praying for them and God recompensed him double what he lost. Now let's go back a little bit farther. And I love this. This is the key, another key, to restoring your family. Okay, so that was with friends. Family is even more significant, and we know that. It's the most important relationships you have. And recompense with family works not only to reposition you in the kingdom of God, but to bless you with a legacy that will continue on. It's about restoring your family and the legacy God intended for your family. Let's look at Joseph. Okay? Listen to Joseph. Now think about it. His brothers threw him in a pit. His brothers forsaken him. His brothers lied to the father. His brother, All this stuff happens to Joseph, but because he processed it correctly. And this took, I know, we know, approximately 13 years to go through this process. He had to be thrown in the pit. He was rescued. He's taken us into slavery. He, he is, um, goes into a Potiphar's house, then he's falsely accused. All these things happen, but he's having to work on his heart. Getting his heart right. Keeping his heart right, no matter who did him wrong. Keeping his heart right. The righteous, those that have their heart right before God and have with each other, those on the right and the left, his brothers, will be recompensed. His recompense was he became the second highest in the land of Egypt. He, 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 he ended the, the captivity even for his people. He brought in blessing and provision in a time of famine. And listen what he says. And I'm just going to read this one verse. It says, and this is in, if you want to study it out, it's in Exodus 50. And it says, I'm going to read it in the Amplified. As for you, he's talking to the brothers, you thought evil against me, but God meant it for good. God meant it for good. In other words, God's going to use this thing. He's going to turn it all around. And the recompense was God's. He used it for good to bring about that many people should be kept alive and that they were this day. Now for, therefore, do not be afraid. He's, he's even comforting them. That shows he had a true heart that changed towards his brothers. He had forgiveness. I will provide for and support you and your little ones. And he comforted them, imparting cheer, hope, strength, and spoke to their hearts kindly. Joseph dwelled in Egypt, he and his father's household, and Joseph lived a hundred and years, a hundred and ten years. Full recompense. Blessing, favor, position in the, in, the, in the kingdom, in Egypt, provision, provision for his family, and a long life. 
Honor your father and mother, and life will go well for you. He was carrying out, blessing his father and his household, even though they had turned against him. Full recompense. I just want you to take these truths and apply them to each situation in your own life that you're working through forgiveness. I want you to watch and see what God does. You know, that is our security because we know God always, He always is faithful to His promises. God bless you.